going to do a popsicle inspired nail design and I'm going to be using a matte gel top coat from Wave Gel. They did send this to me to review and I have tried it out and I really love it. It is available only to salons. However, the rest of their line is available at Rush Hour Beauty for anyone and I do have a 10% off code in the description box. I'll be using the Wave Gel Base Coat, and their top and base coat does come in a set, and it's only $12, and that's before the 10% off. And their matching sets of nail polish come with one regular nail polish and one gel nail polish, and those are $10.99 before the 10% off. So today I'll be using Green Matcha, Purple Pepper, and Orange Pop. I'll also be using my one of my new stamping plates from Uber Chic. And I will I'll be needing a paper towel. I'll be using a pad. I'll be using Purify to remove the sticky top layers by red carpet. I'll be using acetone to clean up around any of my fingers that might need to be cleaned up around. And I'll be using my OPI corrector pen. I'll be using black stamping polish from Bundle Monster. It's, it's Noir Black. And since I'll be using black, I'm going to use a latex barrier around it because black just gets everywhere and is super messy. So this will be good. I just purchased this off of eBay for $2. I just found the cheapest one. Also, washable school glue does work. Actually, it works out really great, except for it takes longer to dry. So that's why I'm just going to use this to save some time today. I'll also be using this uh, large jelly stamper from Uber Chic. I'll be working on my Uber mat to protect my work surface. And I'll be using this scraper. It just came with my one of my other stamping kits, and I just I really like this scraper. First, I'll be adding a thin coat of the base coat, and I will be curing that in the LED. LED light. Now I'm going to add the first coat of color. I'm going to apply it in thin coats. I'll apply purple pepper to my index finger and my pinky finger. I'm going to apply green matcha to my middle finger. and my thumb. And I'll be applying orange pop to my ring finger. Now I'll cure that top coat, that first coat, the first color coat. I've applied the second coat to all of the nails. Now I'll cure that coat. Now I'm going to apply the matte top gel and it does say to shake it. This is the only top coat that I know of that says to shake. And I'm going to apply this to all of my nails and cure it. Now this is a no wipe top coat so actually I don't need to wipe it. I thought I might wipe the sticky top layer off and then do the stamping but I decided to add the the um, matte top coat first and then do the stamping on that. So um, if so you can see, it gives it this nice frosty look and it just really reminds me of popsicles. So now we'll do the stamping. Before I do the stamping, I'm going to add the latex barrier and let it dry around my nails. I'm going to do two coats so it's nice and thick and easy to peel off. Now that the latex barrier is dry, we can begin the stamping. The way to do the, doing the stamping is to quickly pick it up with the stamper after you've scraped it. So I'm going to add the black stamping polish. Scrape it across the image and quickly pick it up with the stamper. Now 
Now that I got a good image on my stamp, I will just lay it on my nail and roll it from side to side, up and down, to make sure it transfers really well. And I'll do the same thing to my index finger. Now it does, sometimes it does take a little bit of practice to get the images on your stamping head. So don't worry if you swipe it and it doesn't go on there right away. It's a little bit trickier with these jelly stampers. The Sticky Stamper by Uber Chic almost always picks up the image right away. The only downfall to that is you can't see where you're placing it. But if you're doing a random pattern like this, you really don't need, it doesn't really matter where you place it. You can use that stamper and it works really, it works really good all the time. Between each stamping, you do have to clean off your stamper head using a lint brush is the best because then you don't damage the head of your stamp. And you do have to wipe the plate using acetone. You have to clean that off in between each stamp as well. And you have to clean off the scraper. You can use acetone on the scraper. Now that I'm done stamping, should be able to just peel the latex barrier away. There we go. Yeah, definitely should use the latex barrier when you're using black stamping ink because this is nasty stuff <laughs> to get off of your finger and not stain your skin. And this latex berry actually came off really good. But if you don't have a latex barrier, you can't get one. Like I said, Elmer's school glue works wonders. You just want to put it on the same way, a little thick, and it does take a little bit longer to dry, and you can't do your stamping until it's dry. When your stamped image is completely dry, you want to add a top coat to protect the artwork. And you want to make sure that there's, you see how there's like a little bubble of top coat on there? You want to make sure that you're not brushing the bristles right on top of the design because you don't want to smear it. Even though it might be dry, the wetness of the top coat could you know, create moisture again and smear it. So I'm going to put a top coat on the design to seal it in. And then I'm going to actually add another top coat to all of the layers as well, just to give it an extra frosty look. And there's the completed look. Frosty like popsicles with this Matte top coat, you do not need to remove a sticky layer. There is no sticky layer on top of it. It is, you know, bake and go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you try this manicure, be sure to let me know in the comments. And check out my Instagram page. Thank you for watching. Bye.